Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you this very natural glam makeup look. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. So starting off prepping my skin with the MAC strobe cream just to give me some luminosity to that fresh daytime look. Now I'm not going to go heavy handed with my brows today, I'm just going to use this pretty little thing, brow gel, and go over my brows very lightly. And like always, I'm using P. Louise Base in shade Rumor. Now this shade I'm using is from Makeup Geek and it's called Tan Lines. I'm just brushing this all over my lid to get a transition shade going on. And I'm blending it right out just to get that smoky effect. And just to give this look some depth, I'm using a shadow from MAC Cosmetics called Espresso. And then I blend everything together with the same brush we use at the start, just to make it nice and smoky. So with the MAC 252, I'm using the base again, that was just left on the brush, and tapping all over the center of the lid. And using my favorite pigment from Peaches and Cream, I'm putting Gatsby all over my lid. And now I'm lining my lid with the Me My Expert Liner. And this doesn't need to be perfect as it's a daytime look. And I'm putting some lashes on. These are from Eldora. I forget what style they are, but Eldora have really nice lashes. Today I'm gonna use the NARS Illuminous All Day Weightless Foundation. And the shade I'm using is Duoville. Duoville? I'm not too sure if that's right, but yeah. I want it nice and natural, so I'm just patting that all into the skin, and it really is lightweight. So I'm using my favorite concealer from Huda Beauty. It's in shade Marshmallow. I'm just going under my eye to cancel out any dark circles and do a slight bit of contouring as well. Really good tip for blending out your concealer and foundation. It's great to press it into the skin as well as brushing it away because it's pressing it into your pores and making it nice and seamless. And to set all of that, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and lightly going over and pressing it into my skin. We don't want too much powder going on because it is a daytime look. So with the same shade from Makeup Geek Tan Lines, I'm just lining under my eye and blending it all together. I'm using the Anastasia Light and Medium Contour Kit. Always remember to add the blush. And today I'm gonna go for a subtle highlight. I know, it's, it's weird for me to say that as well but we want everything to look nice and natural as as natural as can be. I'm using the Becca highlighter in shade Prosecco Pop and sometimes less is more when it comes to daytime looks so just keep that in mind. Now you can always leave the look here but I decided to go in with a brown shade that I use at the start the MAC Cosmetics and I'm just pressing that under my eye and on my waterline and making it nice and smoky. And cleaning it up with my MAC Cosmetics 252 brush. And for lips today, I'm using the Huda Beauty Matte Lip Contour Kit. And this one is called Bombshell. And just to make my face nice and dewy, I'm using the Morphe setting spray. And this is the finished look guys. Thanks so much again for watching my video. And going forward, I'm gonna post a lot more videos. So keep an eye on my channel. Thanks again guys.